I want to talk a little bit here about this video that the Zumalians actually have been spreading online. Uh, so this is a Zumalian guy who actually has uh, his father. His father is a Zumali and his mom is uh, is a Tutsi. And so this guy visited him. This guy is called, uh, you know, the journalist is, is called Hiriri. I talked I talked about that guy when I was talking about the Burbaer, the uh, you know the grave worshiping Zumalis or that the grave worshiping culture in Zumali and uh, that he visited. So what this guy does, he actually visits basically Zumalis basically around the world where they live and then basically documents uh, and then basically make some kind of a documentaries or some kind of a film or movies about them. I kid you not, that's what he does. Uh, I think he visited um, at some point, because so in here he's in Rwanda visiting this actually, uh, you know, this uh, Zumali. He found a Zumali actually, a guy, uh, and uh, he's and with uh, and he basically so the, the reason they're spreading this video is because all the Zumalis are claiming now they, they actually clicked with the uh, with the Tutsis. I kid you not, remember they, they already had some kind of a basically uh. Uh, basically uh, a, a myth where they were saying the Tutsis actually came, came from the Zumeris about Tutsi Abanunahi, they sing something like that but they complete they're not related they actually completely different uh, basic group of people but they claim these uh, these actually uh, uh, these Tutsis because they're tall so this motherfucker then claims uh, that they actually are basically they have actually a father of the Tutsis and she, I kid you that's what they claim and so these motherfuckers are now spreading this actually notion that the Tutsis actually come from them uh, because this actually Zumeli uh, basically uh, guy found this actually uh, Tutsi whose actually uh, father is Zumeli and his mom is Tutsi. Remember, there's a lot of Zumelis who live in East Africa. Don't get it twisted. These motherfuckers actually they spread basically with the uh, with the British. The British basically uh, basically just like how they spread the Indians, the British actually spread them. And I kid you not, that's and so it's, so you you can find them in in basing in, in Uganda, in Tanzania, and all, some of these uh, even you can even find them, many of these motherfuckers. Uh, they actually they they went to South Africa recently, but you can find them as far as basically uh, Botswana. I kid you not. And so what this motherfucker does is actually he goes around and basically documents about these motherfuckers. I think at some point he went to India and documented about a Zumali who actually was uh, who actually went there as well during the British. The British basically brought the Zumali to India, and so he found that Zumali actually uh, basically uh, uh, basically who, uh, that Indian guy whose father was a Zumali and he couldn't even speak actually Zumali. I can't you know this was yeah, and he said his father came to actually uh, he was a fisherman or something or something like that in any case they were basically like they, they, they i don't think they were fishermen fishing to, to uh, basically in india they were probably basically on board of some kind of a british uh, naval ship or something and so uh, he couldn't speak actually zumari but this guy this hereditary guy when he went there he had an indian with him and a zumari indian i kid you not the indian is actually who came to zumari in the uh, what is it like a thousand years before I kid you not. They 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 came in here in uh, um in the 1200 CE. Uh, that's when they reached uh, actually uh, Mogadishu or Benadir, and they came later in basically in uh, basically in the in the north, uh, basically in Zela or or basically in, in these Berbera in this these regions, or it could be that they actually started with these regions and then went for, uh, basically into the south. Uh, in any case. The Indians were actually uh, trading spices, they tell you, in this region, even though many of the Zumalis can't actually digest the spices. I kid you not. Many of these motherfuckers actually can't digest the spicy foods. So who were the Indians selling to? Um, I don't think they were the Zumalis. It, it was probably Ethiopians. They were actually trading, uh, and um, you know, the, the, because these people had to eat spices. And so... So these Indians actually have been in this region like far, far, basically, uh, basically longer than the Zuma, that, that Zumali had been to to India. I kid you not, and he couldn't even speak Zumali, but the, that Indian he brought with him, uh, the translator was speaking fluent Indian. I kid you not, he was speaking fluent Indian and fluent Zumali. So that basically shows you that they actually keep their actually their culture. But the Zumadians, once they actually leave Zumadia, that shithole, 
Ain't no fucking body want to keep the language. I kid you not. Even the motherfuckers in the West, actually, the first generation motherfuckers, they tell you don't even speak uh, basically Zubat. It's some kind of a fucking curse, the fucking lineage, whatever the fuck it is. No fucking body want to. Because I kid you not. You scratch the surface and you can feel that there's some kind of a serpent seed motherfucker. Some kind of a Middle Eastern fucking Hongrof or Middle Eastern fucking parasite hiding in there. Ain't no fucking culture. I kid you not. No, none of these motherfuckers ain't got culture. They have no fucking culture. It's basically some kind of a Middle Eastern, basically serpent seed motherfucking thing masquerading as some kind of a fucking indigenous, basically uh, Horn African culture. But it is not. I kid you not. And so, ain't no motherfucker want to keep the language. Motherfucker basically want to run away from that, basically that fucking Middle Eastern fucking dark parasitic fucking shadim energy and shit i kid you not and every motherfucker basically drops the fucking the language the fucking thing and then just leaves and so that's what they actually are now grappling with every, every one of these motherfuckers scratching their head what the fuck why, why motherfucker uh, can't speak no fucking body want to speak that fucking language i kid you not and so this motherfucker basically had already goes to everywhere but it, guess what he actually doesn't go to the Middle East, actually. I kid you not. There's no... This motherfucker it never documented any motherfucking Arabs cl claiming uh, basically any kind of link with the Zumalis. I kid you not. There is no motherfucking Arab. He never went to any... He never actually found. Because if he had found... If, if this motherfucker basically... If motherfucker actually knew or any arabic basically uh tribe who actually claimed any kind of linkage with the zoom out of these low iq motherfuckers i guarantee you he would have been there basically like speedy gonzalez or fucking flash or basically what is it like i i he would have been there basically uh, talking to these people and basically asking them questions about zoom out shit but there is none and so there's I, I don't even know if he actually uh, basically goes to actually to the middle east to talk to the zoomalis who live there and basically uh because the, their shit there's a few of these motherfuckers who basically like you know are middle class the bulk of the motherfuckers are basically a house i kid you not it's basically it's it's a low caste type of fucking thing like what they call the um the akhdam type of fucking thing i kid you not but if an arab comes to zoomalia that motherfucker is treated like a fucking king this is what these low IQ motherfuckers actually believe and spread. I kid you not. So if you're an Arab, you eat good basically among these low IQ motherfuckers. It's a crazy shit. And so this motherfucker never fucking documented any kind of basically linkage. No Arab actually tribe that claims actually uh, any kind of basically linkage with the Zumadis. And he never uh, probably, I don't know if he actually visited them in the... Uh, because you can search his actually a uh, page uh because I, I i looked at for arab yemeni and there's no, there's nothing so he never visited any kind of basically zumalis basically uh zumalis who live in yemen who have any kind of basically uh connection with the uh with the zumalis because the motherfuckers are close so it's shocking that this motherfucker basically never actually documented anything in yemen or in basically a man probably he did but if he did that I, I guarantee you that video would have been actually if he had found any kind of linkage like you know they would have blasted that fucking basically uh video everywhere and uh you know a lot of people would have actually uh you know heard about that or would have actually uh, viewed that video but there's none there's absolutely none there's no motherfucker the motherfucker if the motherfucker had found any kind of fucking arabs who claimed these low iq motherfuckers or any kind of fucking remote linkage between these fuckers and shit i kid you not that motherfucker that video would have been some kind of a they would have encapsulated or, or, or they would have blasted that video basically uh, everywhere but there's not and so 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 they basically now uh, left with basically going basically in rwanda and claiming that you know the the the, the, the old basically bullshit oh the, the tutsis are from us they're not they're not they're completely different the motherfuckers dna are some kind of a basically bantu and nilo saharan they got no fucking link with these fucking low iq fucking serpent seed motherfuckers crazy shit